Hello everyone, welcome to the latest episode. This time our theme revolves around food, candies and the concept of menacing and lethal food stuff. Essentially food that tries to eat the opponent. In today's episode we are delving into our green black Golgari Wilds of Eldrin block deck and what sets this deck apart is not only its unique playstyle but also its consistent art style always intertwined with food and food tokens. Our objective here is to generate as many food tokens as possible to level leverage them to our advantage by sacrificing for them for various benefits, such as dealing damage, drawing cards, distributing counters and scrying, among many other possibilities. So let's dive in. At the heart of this deck we have Greta, a 3-3 green-black creature for 3 mana. She's incredibly solid and I'm particularly fond of her second ability. For 1 colorless and 1 black mana you can sacrifice a food token to draw a card and card advantage is crucial in any game. And Greta is nothing short of amazing in this regard and it's important to note that we have several cards that produce food tokens including Greta herself. We have here Tough Cook Cookie, we have also the Witch's Vanity, then we have the Truffle Snowed, also Welcome to Sweet Tooth, then we have the Experimental Confectioner, also Feed the Cauldron, Gumdrop Poisoner and Gingerbread Hunter. The two artifacts are also food. Uh, here we have Candy Trail for 1 mana and also 3 bowls of porridge and even Tough Cookie's uh, food golem that we can sacrifice with Greta for example. Tough Cookie not only creates food tokens but can also transform them into a 4-4 creature for 3 mana with the potential to transform more of them if we have the extra mana. Truffle Snout primarily serves as a food token producer, is essentially an upgraded version of Minstrosity. Then we have also Sir Ginger, is one of my personal favorites because it gains plus one plus one counters and allows us to scry whenever we sacrifice food tokens and this can be incredibly helpful during the game and as long as there's a planeswalk on the battlefield it gains trample and hexproof. We have Gumdrop Poisoner, um, is an upgraded version of Sweet Tooth Witch and can also deal damage equal to the life gained this turn. Then we have also Experimental Confectioner, generates tokens whenever we sacrifice food tokens and allows us also to keep the Vuring Sugar Mo on the battlefield since we have to sacrifice a token in our turn. Then we have also Gingerbread Hunter, deals an initial minus two minus two damage and then upon entering the battlefield grants us with a food token while being a 5-5 creature. As is typical for black green decks we have included a huge amount of removal spells. We have here Candy Grapple, can be especially useful for dealing with larger creatures. We have Witch's Vanity for example uh, to deal with creatures with mana value 2 or less and then also we have Feed the Cauldron uh, which deals with creatures with value 3 or less and we it also provides us with a food token when we cast this spell in our turn. And also Gumdrop Poisoner deals uh, yeah, damage and also Gingerbread Hunter are excellent for eliminating smaller creatures. And our deck is also fe featuring two artifacts. The first one is Candy Trail which not only serves as a food token but it's crucial at the beginning of the game. If we are short on lands we can take the risk of casting it, scrying for two and later sacrificing it to gain life and joy card. This pairs wonderfully with Sir Ginger for example and the other artifact is Free Bows of Porridge. It's even more versatile with three abilities. It can deal 2 damage, tap a creature and be sacrificed afterwards. Then we have also Tough Cookie and Sir Ginger are my stand favorites in this deck. These cards exemplify the food theme brilliantly and the Greta is also a fantastic uh, card that provides us with essential card drawing but um, it often becomes a prime target for removal. Our land distribution includes 10 swamps, uh, 10 forests, 2 restless cottages, 1 crystal grotto and Edgewall inn. Um, yeah and especially restless cottage is an amazing card that can be transformed into a creature for 4 mana and when it attacks it allows us to exile a card from the graveyard and produces food tokens as well. So now let's jump into some games and see this deck in action.